as you can read in the title, today is quite a difficult day for the animal rights community. We have lost a fellow activist who was uh, at a vigil in Canada. She was there to raise awareness about animal exploitation. <laughs> Using social media, she was there to give water to thirsty pigs who were going to get slaughtered. Who did get slaughtered, actually, already. Thirsty pigs? And how do you even know those pigs were thirsty? I'm pretty sure that they weren't. I'm pretty sure that they get fed and they get water and plenty of nutrition, unlike you. It amazes me how angry, ignorant, and hateful people can be. But then again, what would you really expect from someone who proudly calls themselves anti-vegan? Like many ex-vegans, they fail to understand or educate themselves of what veganism really is. It's about the animals and how much they suffer, just so you can have a few strips of bacon for breakfast. Pigs and other animals are loaded onto a truck and driven to their death. Does this look like they are being given food, water, and nutrition to you? No, animals aren't stupid. They know what fate awaits them, which is why they try to jump off trucks in an attempt to save themselves. Instead of truly educating themselves about how serious these issues are, they were self-absorbed. They used veganism as a way to hide their self-destructive eating disorder. I ate as healthy and clean as I could without being completely obsessed because I had gone down that path, because I had gone down that path, because I had gone down that path. Instead of taking accountability, for their self-destructive actions, they lash out at vegans. This isn't the first time that this happens. Jill Phipps, 31 years old, she was killed in front of her mother while protesting. That chick was for sure vegan. The picture they just showed, that's a vegan. I could spot her a mile away. He suggests that these people are good people just because they're fighting for animal rights. He has no idea what's in their soul, what's in their hearts, and why they choose to go out and protest against these atrocities. When people feel something in their heart and soul, and they feel that something is wrong in their heart and soul, that is why they protest. And I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't the last one. I hope it is, but I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't. Because if there's one thing that this society teaches, is that animal rights activists don't matter. What a convenient thing that Around 24 hours before this happened, the Ontario government actually passed a bill called 156, which made vigils illegal. Vegans and their conspiracies. They'll show all these body bags. They'll show plenty of body bags. But have we seen one dead body? Have you really seen one dead body? And have you been paying attention to the news? Have you been paying attention to the headlines, the statistics, the 33 Masonic symbolism that is being used in all of these headlines. So insidious and so obviously predictive programming right in your face that they're either killing these people on purpose because they put it out themselves or it's not happening at all. She clearly is a conspiracy theorist as well, so just shut up. Seriously believes this could be a possibility. Not the possibility that this vegan activist was a crisis actor and that she's trying to push her vegan agenda, animal rights PETA agenda, down everybody's throat in which she admitted to be a sacrifice. Well, how do we know she really died? How do we know this woman was real and that she actually got ran over by a semi-truck. First, the coronavirus doesn't exist, and now this activist apparently doesn't exist. This girl is so out of touch and in denial of real-world issues.
Why do we attend vigils? We can't always save the animals. They're going to die anyway. What's the point? The reason we attend vigils is to bear witness. What bearing witness means is that when you know that someone is experiencing pain and suffering, rather than turning away, you come closer in an attempt to alleviate that pain and suffering. Sometimes we have the opportunity to offer the animals water, or a kind word or thought, even a touch. And that is often the only kindness they will ever receive in their lives. Why would I want to put myself through something so difficult? It's not about the way that we feel. It's about the way that they feel. Vigils are meant to bring awareness. Activists will stand on the road near a slaughterhouse to stop trucks and to say their goodbyes. Don't tell me these truck drivers don't see this crowd of people down the road. There have been many instances where truck drivers have just ignored activists and tried to plow right through them. Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! To be this unaware and spiteful against activists is just, it's downright disgusting. Her true colors really shine bright. This guy's demeanor is absolutely pathetic. He's got that sad, puppy dog look in his eyes, insincere. It's not sincere. This is such virtue signaling bullshit if I've ever seen it. Looking in his eyes, it's hard not to relate. Looking in his eyes, it's hard not to relate. This is what you call classic projection. I'm sorry if I offend you all with my ability to read and see right through people and their BS. Anti-vegan clearly never educated herself about the actual animal cruelty. Sadly, she also had an eating disorder, but that is no excuse for the hateful things she says. Anyways, I do hope you are all well, staying safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.